Today, I will address troubleshooting issues and transmitting attendance records from ProCare to KinderConnect. The KinderConnect Extra is software that allows individual centers to be able to submit attendance of their kids who are state subsidized to their state agencies. I will not go over the installation and setup of your KinderConnect. For that, please see our install page found at ProCareSupport.com forward slash KinderConnect or just go to the ProCareSupport.com website and search for KinderConnect. Troubleshooting. If no information is syncing at all, please call Kinder Connect Technical Support and confirm that your site's provider ID and group password are correct. Okay, let's get started. What we typically find is issues when syncing and submitting your child's information. Typically, when syncing from ProCare to Kinder Connect website, issues usually fall into two main categories. Issues confirming a child's ID with the Kinder Connect website, and issues sending a child's attendance or incomplete attendance. Let's take a look at the issues confirming a child's ID first. To get started, open the Kinder Connect Extra from your ProCare home screen and navigate to Utilities, ProCare Extras, and then open the Kinder Connect Extra. We want to select Confirm Child's ID box found at the bottom of the extra. Issues confirming a child's ID with the Kinder Connect website. Everything in ProCare must match the Kinder Connect website if you want to submit ties for reimbursement. To do this, click the Confirm Child ID and confirm the information is correct with that on the Kinder Connect's children's detail page. After that, Check the spelling in ProCare matches exactly as the Kinder Connect website, even if the name on the website is misspelled. After the name in ProCare is confirmed to match, check for common spelling hangups to include middle initials, hyphenated names, and the use of junior, etc. Check to see if the date of birth matches exactly as it is on the website. If the Kinder Connect ID is different, then the number that is being confirmed on the website, that may mean that the child is or has been in foster care. In that case, use the child ID off the Kinder Connect website and manually enter it under the user defined fields for that child in ProCare. If more than one number is listed, normally the larger number is the correct one, but you may need to check that with Kinder Connect directly. After that, do not confirm the child's ID just submit attendance. After confirming a child's KinderConnect ID, what are the problems that can affect a complete transmittal and acceptance of the attendance times? Most problems fall into two categories. Does the child have a complete entries for the attended days showing in their ProCare time card? And is the child approved for subsidy from the state? And for what periods? Does the child have times for those attended days showing in a ProCare time card? In ProCare, navigate to the child's time card and confirm there are completed in and out times for that child. An incomplete punch in one day will not allow for subsequent time entries. Is the child approved for subsidy from the state? Let's confirm that the child is approved on the Kinder Connect website under the child's details. In that section, Check to see if the child has a valid start and end date for the submitted period and that the status is active. If only partial days were accepted, a child may be active, but not for the full submitted period. The PS under PS slash IM status indicates whether the child is in protective services, also known as foster care. This is important because it indicates why the child may have two different child IDs. Again, if the child does have two different IDs, use the one on the website and manually enter it into the child's user-defined field in ProCare. Note the start and end dates of the service. Does your child's attendance fall within those time periods? Also, is your child's status active or expired? When troubleshooting syncing issues, you may also see different colors highlighting the boxes on the Kinder Connect website. I've included a full list of the meanings behind the attendance box backgrounds used. 
What if my issue is not resolved by these steps? No resolution? Reach out to ProCare support if you feel that the ProCare extra is not syncing correctly. If you have questions regarding a child's eligibility, contact KinderConnect.